When you're a shliach, it's not nine to five, it's from early morning to late at night, and it's at any time. And if the Rebbe really wants me to learn three prakim, I should really be trying to do that. So I remember Rosh Hashanah evening, I came home and it was late at night, and I was probably one or two o'clock in the morning, I was standing, walking around, holding the Rambam to make sure I don't fall asleep, because I knew if I sit down on the couch, it's gonna be a skula to falling asleep really quickly. It was like three days before Yom Kippur, I said to my wife, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm probably not able to keep up with this. I, I feel like maybe this is just not for me. I was disappointed to say that, but that's, that's what I thought, that's how I felt. The next morning, I'm in my car, I uh, stop by Sam's Club to pick up some things we need, and I get a phone call uh, from a lady who says, hi Rabbi, her name is Wendy. She tells me that she has something that she wants to give me. I said, what it is, she said, it's a dollar. A dollar? She said, yeah, it's got some Hebrew writing on it. I came over to Wendy's house. She tells me, Rabbi, you need to know how I got this. It's so unusual. We had an event and we had these contributions come in and I'm very particular about preparing the money for the deposit. I turn all the bills face up. And on my third time going through the bills, I noticed one was the other way, which to her, being so particular, was like struck her as really odd. I work with Meridian Investment Sales. I sell commercial real estate in New York. Last year, around two weeks before the Siyam Rabbam, Rabbi Shmuel Butman came to our shul, and during the Kiddush, he fabrained with us, telling us how important the study of Rambam was and is to the Rabbah. The Rebbe says that you should do it, and the Rebbe says that this will bring about the coming of Moshiach. I decided to start learning three Prakim Rambam three days before the Siyam, to show that it was going to be a real commitment. I had a good run, and I was keeping up for approximately three to four weeks before Labor Day, when I started falling behind. And once you start falling behind the three Prakim Rambam, it's a lot of Prakim to catch up. I was thinking to myself, me being someone who wants to have a connection and be connected to the Rebbe, how is it that I cannot learn three Prakim Rambam every day? You didn't learn yesterday, that's a separate story, but you can start today and you can, from now on, you can learn one Pedic, three Prakim, and you can be part of all of those who are learning Rambam. It was the day before Labor Day, and my 10-year-old son was insisting to bring him and his friends to a Yankee game. I decided I'll take him to the Yankee game and I'll have time on the train, at the game, on the train home. So I felt that this was an opportunity to have six hours straight of Rambam. So the next day, I took my son to the Yankee game and I learned Rambam for literally six hours straight and did catch up a lot. The Siyama Rambam Tavshim Membov. It was the second Siyama Rambam, and there was a lot of excitement about it. And the suggestion was that we should ask the Rebbe for participation with a dollar for each person that will come. The Rebbe had suggested a dollar for each one and one from the Mishnah and the Mishnah by the Heim of the now, we asked the Rebbe for the Rebbe's Ishtatfus, but we didn't say how much money we want. The Rebbe himself sent out $6,000. We saw here that the Rebbe himself wants the Siyum to be the and this is why he's sending out the money. The Mirza Hashem, the Rebbe the Rebbe's daughter to all men, but the Siyum from the Siyum, Aya and the Mnochem Sternberg, who was in, in charge of distributing the dollars, told me later there were 6,000 people who attended. 6,000 people, exactly the way that ever saw. What we heard over years, that those dollars went a long way. She shows me the dollar, and I couldn't wait to see what it says on it. And uh, 
This is what it says. I keep the dollar on me at all times. It's in my wallet. It says on it, Mishtate Chagiga Siyam Arama Machsu Sheni Hei Tav Shemem Vav Mitpoid Kedushas Ad Mishluta Milabavich. Here I thought to myself, here I am in League City, a place with not a very big Jewish population, and here I'm getting a dollar from the Rebbe. I felt this was a clearly a, a real Hashkacha Pratis to receive this, and it was a message that said, I know what you're doing, it's good, the Lima the Ramam don't stop, it's important, stick to it, keep at it. Around an hour after I came home, my mother sends me a WhatsApp. Look, Lipa, I found two dollars of the Rebbe of yours. I opened the picture to see when these dollars were from. First dollar said the Rambam Siim 1986. The second dollar was written pre Rosh Hashanah Fabrengen 1986. There was an extremely special feeling to receive these dollars. I told over the story to a number of friends of mine who being good cynical Lubavitchers were joking and making sarcastic jokes of how Lippa, you always have these stories and here's another story from Lippa. Being that Baruch Hashem, I saw a number of stories like this in a revealed way and it got me thinking and questioning whether or not I was exaggerating, if I am making more of it than it really is. A few days later, my mother came to babysit by us, and as she walked in the door, she said, oh, Lippa, look, I found another dollar of yours. I took one look at the dollar, and I knew exactly what the message was, as that dollar was dated Ches Elo, which last year was September 4th, the day before Labor Day, the day I bought the Yankee tickets, making the commitment to spend six hours learning Rambam and catching up on the Rambam. You know, don't see yourself as just one more person. There are thousands and thousands of other people are doing Ramam daily, but it matters whether you're doing it or not. And it matters both to the bigger picture, but also for yourself. And you can be part of all this chuyas and all the good things that are going to come your way by starting to learn the Rambam every day. And I am happy to say that this year was the first time that I completed the whole Rambam.